Alice had Wonderland, Dorothy had Oz, and Luz Noceda, the plucky teen at the heart of Disney's The Owl House, has the Boiling Isles. The name of this fantasy world alone gives you a hint to the off-kilter humor that runs through the animated series about a girl leaving her life behind and deciding to study to become a witch. Luz is my favorite type of character. She's the kind of girl I was. She's a bit quirky, somewhat awkward, and you know, just a little bit weird. What she finds in the Boiling Isles, among cute demons and fabulous witches, is the sense of belonging she's always craved. A space where she can be who she truly wants to be without needing to feel insecure about herself. In that sense, Luz is relatable to so many young girls watching. What's most striking about Luz is her big heart. No matter who or what she meets, she lives up to her name. She's a light for everyone around her. There's something very heartwarming about what creator Dana Terrace has built with this adorable, super kooky, and diverse world. Plus, the show is hilarious. It's silly, there are jokes aplenty here for the entire family to enjoy. It is truly a magical little gem. And so from one quirky girl to another, it is my absolute pleasure to present Luz and the entire Owl House team a Peabody Award. Foolish child! Do not underestimate me. Now eat this, sucker! And that's the end. The end of what? My book report. <laughs> Miha, I love your creativity, but it's gotten out of hand. Do you remember why you were in the principal's office the last three times? Oh, happy dagger, give me death! <laughs> now, for the final anatomically correct touch, spider breath. <laughs> you think that's an impressive trick? Take a look at this. Bleep, bloop, bleep. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. I won't let you down. No more weirdness. <laughs> that doesn't count, right? The Owl House began as an experiment to see if I could turn the grim designs of Hieronymus Bosch into a fun cartoon for kids. And as the project evolved, it turned into an exploration of identity, morality, and what it means to find a home away from home when you're made to feel like you just don't belong. It is a tremendous honor to receive a Peabody Award. Thank you to the Peabody Board of Jurors for recognizing our efforts. I hope it encourages more weirdos out there to keep pushing the envelope and telling their stories. I'd also like to personally thank our art director, Ricky Cometa, our supervising producer, Steven Sandoval, our producer, Wade Wazinski, and our story editor, Rachel Vine, for leading our incredible season one team. And of course, thank you to the entire Owl House crew for your amazing work, all of your dedication, and for making the show something special. Thank you. Yeah.